Good morning. My name is Ramey Gantz, and I'm the manager of the Weight Management Center for Palmetto Health. And I'm happy to say that I've been a Palmetto Health employee for 16 years. Thank you. At the Weight Management Center, we care for patients struggling with morbid obesity. And our surgeons, Dr. Dalton Prickett and Dr. Ben Tribble, perform several types of weight loss surgery. And our team of professionals that you see here are standing with me today. They care for the patients before, during, and long after their surgery. Over the years, I've seen countless patients transform their body, their health, and their life through weight loss surgery. This morning, I'm here to share with you a very special story about an inspiring gentleman I met a couple years ago, Richard Brown. When Richard became a patient of our program, he was very anxious to get his surgery approved by his insurance company. And I assured him we would do everything we could to help him through the approval process of weight loss surgery. He was so desperate to get in the program that he would call me daily to check on the status of his insurance approval. He would, we would talk a lot. And I always assured him that when we heard that he was approved, we would call him. Early on, we developed a great friendship. But Richard had valid reasons to become concerned about his insurance approval. Richard had the state Blue Cross insurance plan. And if some of you remember, at the time, the state was piloting a weight loss program for weight loss surgery and for their employees and employee spouses. Only 100 state employees of, their, um, of the spouses and employees uh, would be accepted into the pilot program. Richard was determined he was going to be one of them. And I remember vividly uh, that during one of his visits to my office, he broke down in tears. And to this day, it still brings tears to my eyes even thinking about it. Um, but I could see how strongly Richard wanted to lose the weight. Richard shared with me that he had a young son and a wife. And it was important that he lose the weight to be healthy for both of them so that he could be around to watch his son grow up. My heart went out to him. And when I received word that he was approved for surgery, I couldn't wait to call him. So before I introduce Richard, I'd like to share with you his statistics before his gastric bypass surgery. These are his statistics before he had his surgery, and they were rather alarming. Um, and now, you know, he had so many struggles with, with CPAP, uh, having to use a CPAP machine, high blood pressure, um, high cholesterol, and the enormous amount of weight that he had. So at this point, I'd like to welcome our patient and my friend, Richard Brown, to the stage. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. What an honor to be here. Imagine this, driving home from work one evening in a school zone, five lanes of traffic, the middle lane being a turning lane, and suddenly you're awakened by car horns blowing because you had fallen asleep at the wheel. That was me. This was definitely a defining moment in my life. At 37 years old, a husband and father, not only could I have lost my life, but I could have taken the life of an innocent victim. And to think of how many people that could have affected because I was not healthy. I immediately called my family physician the next day, Dr. Joseph McShay, because in the back of my mind, I felt like I had sleep apnea. And so he scheduled a sleep study test. The real issue here though was not that I had sleep apnea, it was that I was obese, 377 pounds and miserable. 
Shortly after being put on the CPAP machine, I realized too that this was only a short-term fix for my shortness of breath and falling asleep during the day. So I had to take other drastic measures if I wanted to live. And this is when I started researching bariatric surgery. You see, all of my life growing up, I battled my weight since puberty. When I was a senior in high school, I lost 83 pounds. Once I went off to college, it started coming back on. At age 28, no girlfriend, and scared that I would not be eventually grow old with a wife or children, I decided to lose weight for the second time. And at that point, I had lost 114 pounds. Met the most beautiful, loving, caring woman that anyone could ever imagine, my wife Jennifer. Shortly after getting married, the weight started to creep back on. My wife got pregnant, and the weight increasingly started to pour on even more. During my son's early years, I never really was active with him or played outside or did any other types of activities with him because I was always so tired. Not only was I cheating myself, but I was cheating my son too. After doing lots of research and reading about the different types of surgery, I finally made that call to Palmetto Weight Loss Management in Columbia. I was a little concerned, however, when I found out that my surgeon's last name was Prickett and the nurse practitioner's name, last name was Stuck. I mean, really, is this where I wanted to go? Prickett and Stuck. I knew from my very first call to their office that I had called the right place. Their staff was always nice to me and still is. They've worked with me and been very accommodating of my scheduling because I live in York, South Carolina. The support I've received from their entire staff is bar none the best I've ever had. The process for my journey is something I will never forget. They were also helpful and instrumental in making this happen for me. They went over and beyond, and for that I'm eternally grateful for all they did to help give me a new life. It's been 19 months since my ruined gastric, ruined wide gastric bypass, and I've continued to maintain my weight. I lost 207 pounds, and with support from my doctors, wife, family and friends, and coworkers, I would have never been able to accomplish any of this as much as I have up to this point. I'll never forget telling my wife one Sunday morning in September of 2011 that by the end of the week that I would have lost 100 pounds. With social media such as Facebook, she was able to contact many of our family and friends to request that they send congratulatory cards to me by the end of the week. So every evening she would go home and collect them before I would get there. So on that Friday morning, as I did every morning, I weighed and I had lost 100 pounds. So that evening when I came home from work, she presented me with 117 cards from people that supported me. I'm so very blessed to have a very supportive and caring mom and dad who have been there with me every step of the way and are here today. And I also want to let you know too that this is not a tool, or not only is this a tool that's been given to me, and it's not a miracle fix, but it's a lifestyle change. I have to work at this every day of my life to maintain a healthy lifestyle. In addition to daily exercise at 5 a.m. seven days a week with my workout buddy, Connie Donovan, who's here also. I have a personal IFA certified trainer, Zeke Samples, who I see twice a week. He's been very instrumental in showing me that exercise can be rewarding and not dreadful. Zeke has helped me tighten the loose skin in my arms. I haven't had any surgery. 
He's helped me achieve muscle definition. I have now, according to my wife. She says I have hot biceps and sexy triceps <laughs> that I never even knew existed. So my wife thinks Zeke as well. <laughs> In the past year, I ran two local 5Ks, one being with my younger sister who prepared and coached me every step of the way. After my second 5K, just this past August, my son wanted to give it a try also. So we signed him up for the fun run. He was getting re he's getting ready to run with me Thanksgiving morning in the turkey trot, a week from tomorrow. And I can't wait. I'm having so much positive influence on his life and his desires to want to be healthy. That's all a father could ever ask for. I want to end by saying thank you to all of you because with people, like, with people like yourselves, then people like me can't achieve. Each of you have all played an integral part in many people's lives, especially mine, and this is why you're here today. With all your help and support, I now have control of my own destiny. It's my life. These are my statistics as of today. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Thank you all very much. It's been an honor to be here today and um, I can't thank this crew behind me enough. They've been wonderful. Thank you all. to welcome Dr. Prickett to the stage. I'm sorry he's a little late. He had some patients he had to see this morning. But he's the man that made all this happen. No, I, again, it's so important to realize he's the man that made it happen. And what we try to tell our patients, uh, it takes a lot of courage to think and consider weight loss surgery. It's not without its risk. And it certainly is a tool and you have to have the commitment and the desire to do the little things to have that success. What we do know is that uh, for people who suffer from morbid obesity and those who lose weight, only 5% of those people maintain that weight at two years. There's a lot we don't know. But uh, just to comment on a few things, uh, can I get a copy of those uh, statistics and take them to my own doctors and try to see if I can get him because mine aren't nearly that good and then <laughs> and I'd change my name for you if you would get rid of that Clemson shirt but we won't talk about that <laughs> but to let you know what the Alliance has done for us and and what it is to to work with the Alliance uh, we started this 12 years ago we met in just a little room uh, we went and watched somebody do this surgery, Dr. Ben Tribble and ourselves. We like to do advanced laparoscopic surgery. And what you find out is, uh, I don't think they can do this today. We went and watched one, said, so yeah, we can do that. And uh, it's, been a, it's been an interesting journey. Uh, there's been a lot of bumps in the road, insurance changes. They seem to change from one week to the next. Our staff has to work through that. Um, but the Alliance paved the way for us in order for us to become a center of excellence. And um, it's been one of the most rewarding things that I've been involved with in medicine, to see people that uh, sometimes can't tie their shoes uh, and then see them a year later and not even hardly recognize them. Um, so again, I, I, I thank the administration, I thank for this, uh, our team here, uh, and, and I appreciate 
you acknowledging us today. So uh, again, thanks a lot. Thank you for allowing us to speak today. And if you'd like to know more about what our center offers, you can look us up on the palmettohealth.org website under uh, specialty clinics. Thank you today. <laughs>